Welcome. Welcome. Please. Welcome. Welcome. Remain seated. Welcome. 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 Stay calm. Welcome. And if you can. jump right into this I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay all-nighter face primer long wear foundation grip and it's supposed to prep smooth and perfect the skin for foundation it's nothing like the milk makeup hydro grip primer that is like actually sticky this is really smooth and like a it feels like a moisturizer First impression by just like what it feels like on the skin. I really, really like it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus Full Coverage in the shade Fair. <laughs> Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade Light Nude. I'm going to take that under my eye and down and up and down. It's a really good drugstore concealer, so if you're looking for a drugstore concealer, this is a good one. I like it. What I'm about to tell you I've just realized that Next, I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Cupcake Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. And I am gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, Powder Sponge. Pack that pretty heavily under my eye. It's something about me and you. And I'm gonna move on to my brows. I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. So let me stay here a little while. up I'm gonna use the Benefit Highbrow Creamy Brow Highlighting Pencil. I'm gonna take my Morphe M432 brush. It's a crazy Monday. I know it shows that I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna use the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is my favorite brow gel ever. It is so good. It's basically like hairspray for the brows. Next, I'm going to dust this powder off. Okay, so I need to add some color back into my face. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome Rise Palette. This has a bronzer, highlight, and blush. It's so nice. I'm gonna hit the tops of my forehead. I just realized that I can't let go. It's something about me and you. So let me stay here a little while. At least until I calm down. Whatever 
whatever's left, I'm going to hit my nose. All right, next I'm going to take my Morphe M523 brush. I'm going to take more of that product. I'm going to contour. <laughs> I'm going to take this MAC 252S brush and I'm going to contour my nose with this. Create like a shadow on this inner part here. And then I'm going to pick up the blush in this palette. And I'm using the Laura Mercier cheek color brush. I'm going to swipe this on my nose. Next, I'm going to go in with a highlight. Oh no. I don't like this highlight. I mean, the name of the palette is Stay Naked, so it is more of a natural vibe. I get it, you know? Okay, the highlight is a little too subtle for me. I'm going to go in with my Catkin CO2 highlighter. No, I'm going to take the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I like to set my eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to take that loose powder and I'm going to take um, this Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to pick up some powder and I'm going to set that base. I'm going to take the new ColourPop Mint to Be eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take that into my crease. that right in the crease I had been a wallflower for so long standing on the sideline next I'm gonna take my morphe e36 brush and I'm gonna pick up play it cool I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner watching life go by but now I hear so I am going to pick up the mint I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna take that right between here. So under the brow bone above the crease and I'm just gonna blend. Next, I'm going to take Mint For You. I'm gonna pick that up with the Anastasia Beverly Hills 18 brush and I'm just packing that onto the lid. That sounds like a love song. And I'm going to pack that on top of that. And then I'm going to go in with my B Bella NG330 brush and I'm going to pick up Chill Factor. I'm going to work this in the outer crease. Like Next, I'm going to take L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner in Wild Green. And for this liner, I'm going to do it pretty thick. And it's going to start from in the inner corner. And then I'm going to round it. We're not, I'm not winging this out. I'm going to like go with my natural shape. Hooray. Next, I am going to go in with the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. <laughs> take 
my Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to pick up Chill Factor right on my lash line. <music> falsies on my camera died so I went to a different camera and I feel like I look so different on this camera I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen my Mac sore wait is this sore oh dervish lip liner I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen it real quick <laughs> Bella pointed lip brush and I'm just gonna move that lipstick around and blend it into the lip liner <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara to the tips of these lashes starting from the middle and kind of working to the tips Whenever I feel like I put too much mascara on my falsies, I'll just take my finger and kind of rub across the tips and just to like take some of it off. And then I'm going to apply some bottom lash mascara. I'm not going to go too crazy. And if you ever feel like your bottom lash mascara gets a little clumpy, just take a spoolie, uh, a clean spoolie and gently like run the spoolie through those lashes. I'm gonna be testing out the Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection uh, Environmental Defense Makeup Setting Sprays. Make your makeup last up to 16 hours and help protect against oxidation due to pollution. Ooh, it's a weightless mist that keeps your makeup looking just applied, infused with a blend of minerals, zinc, magnesium, copper, I'm allergic to copper. I wish it was a little bit finer, but it's fine. It's fine that it's not fine. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It shows me that you care. Also, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Also, hit that little notification bell. Until next time, peace.